r slash surviving infidelity first story is titled discovered my wife's now ex affair the day she was admitted into hospital now years later she can't accept my engagement to my fiance if ever there was a prize for the most horrible way to learn of your significant other's affair i would probably win it and be in its hall of fame like so many people in this sub i suddenly found myself as a member of a club that nobody ever wants to be part of I will never forget the sound of my ex-sister-in-law's voice as she kept saying I'm sorry, I'm sorry over and over on the phone while I drove home from a week-long business trip. I was confused and had absolutely no idea what she meant but only after I managed to calm her down somewhat did she inform me that my wife was in hospital and that I needed to hurry home, my mind went into overdrive as I tried to get more information as well as not crash while I began speeding to get there faster. The only thing she told me is that it was an assault then cut the call and wouldn't answer when I tried to call her again. A bit of background. My ex and I met in our mid-twenties, it was through a mutual friend at a barbecue. At first, she seemed almost too good to be true, not only was she incredibly beautiful but she was also shy and introverted. It took a while for us to officially date but once it happened, I was over the moon, when we first tried to get intimate, she suddenly started crying, should have taken this as a bad sign. I freaked out and thought it was something I did but she apologized the next day and told me she was triggered, as it turns out two years before meeting me. She was in a long-term relationship and a guy that was abusive both emotionally, physically as well as mentally. He would degrade her during their moments of intimacy then apologize afterward, she had a flashback but reassured me it had nothing to do with me so we took things slow as she was still in therapy. It was tough but because I loved her, I believed once we got over this it would make our relationship stronger and for a while it honestly appeared that way. Fast forward another year and we'd gotten engaged first time intimacy also happened during this stage, I was fortunate enough to be able to buy a house for us courtesy of inheritance from my late uncle. Things were going great and I half seriously suggested we plant a peach tree, important for later on, to signify new beginnings and she was all for it. We were wedded not long after that and quite frankly it was absolutely amazing. Of course, we had our normal ups and downs like every married couple but I considered us luckier because she always made it a point to never go to bed upset with each other and she would always point out gently if I did anything to upset her. Sometime later life basically happened and I was promoted at my job, it meant more pay but it also meant I would be traveling more for work conferences and business meetings. I noticed she had been getting down a lot more and wasn't being as intimate as before, she would keep her phone close to her and even stopped gently addressing things that upset her. I tried to talk to her about it but she assured me that she was fine and this was a phase she was going through and having no reason to not trust her I let it go. She would sometimes go to her sister's place and spend the night telling me she just needed a bit of girl time with her sister, the day I got that fateful phone call was the day she was meant to be keeping her sister company again. I remember rushing into the hospital barely breathing and frantically asking about my wife when world's most understanding and patient police officer sat me down to explain what happened. He told me he was a friend of my sister-in-law and he happened to respond to a domestic disturbance call, he arrived on the scene to find a couple fighting. The supposed boyfriend was on top of the female punching her and she was screaming trying to scratch him, this didn't make any sense to me because 1, this had nothing to do with my wife because we're married and 2, literally everyone who knew my wife knew she wouldn't do that. He gave me a knowing look and placed his hand on my shoulder then told me to be very calm because said girlfriend was actually my wife. If it weren't for the severity of the situation I would have laughed in his face but something in the way he said everything made me believe him, I then was ushered in by a nurse to see my wife and what greeted me to this day I still can hardly find the words to describe it. I just stood there for what seemed like an eternity then a doctor came in and explained her injuries to me. The jaw was slightly fractured, her left eye was completely swollen shut and had massive bruising covering half of her face, as well as three broken ribs. Then the doctor dropped another bomb and told me she was pregnant, I still couldn't understand how this happened then I caught sight of her sister. She at first tried to avoid me but at the persuasion of her police officer friend she told her what she knew, it turns out my wife's ex had gotten in contact with her 5 months ago, he was doing this redemption pyramid step thing where he would apologize to people he has wronged in order to clear his karma, anyone else bs meet her going crazy right now. They began talking more then he convinced her to meet up for coffee and show her he was a changed man. Obviously old feelings resurfaced coupled with the fact that he appeared changed now it soon developed into an emotional affair, my wife approached her sister for advice who told her to take things slow and just get it out of her system if she needed to, which then lead to a physical affair 3 months later. She actually told my wife that she should at least make peace with her ex in whatever form it may be and even offered to cover for my wife once in a while. 
My sister-in-law was in tears at this point and kept apologizing to me saying that she didn't know about the abuse as my wife never told anyone other than me and her therapist at the time about it. I was numb, I just couldn't feel anything and was absolutely dumbfounded by my wife's actions. When my wife finally woke up, I was there and she burst into tears upon seeing me. I spent the following months in zombie flight mode, there was individual counseling for her as well as marriage counseling for us at the strong urging of her family. In counseling she was surprisingly forthcoming about how it happened and how she absolutely hated herself for causing me pain. She mentioned how at one point on her way home from his place she actually fantasized about driving into the river because she smelled like him and didn't want his scent to corrupt me, however that made sense, she said she then tried to end it but was too weak and only after learning that she was pregnant that it actually woke her up and made her realize that any further contact with this man was toxic to not only her but the unborn child as well hence want to end things in person for good when he snapped on her. She became a shell of herself and developed a phobia for any other males but me. She one point she couldn't even use the bathroom at night unless I was holding her hand, sad, right? After the baby was born, son by the way, we got a paternity test and he was mine, but the more time I spent with her the more I realized I didn't hate my wife, I actually loathed her. I couldn't see the woman I married but instead saw his leftovers each time I looked at her, I decided to leave because I was afraid I'd do something I'd regret and be exactly like her abusive ex. She begged me not to leave and even made the ridiculous offer of giving me a hall pass as well as slapping her if I wanted to, I knew at this point I had to get out. She was actually very generous during the divorce, she moved back into her parents and signed a very well thought out co-parenting plan issued by the courts. Moving forward three years later and I meet my now fiancé by chance, I was in a bookstore with a buddy of mine and we were discussing Egyptian mythology when this beautiful woman approached me to correct me on my pronunciations of the Egyptian gods and cities. Needless to say, immensely impressed by not only her understanding but also by the fact that she is Egyptian herself. We exchanged numbers which eventually lead us to dating, when I finally proposed to her it was actually in front of the preach tree I had planted years ago. I got down on one knee but before I got my answer she ran into the house then came out with a ring as well. Turns out she was actually planning on proposing herself because she was madly in love with me and she just didn't want any other woman to have me. My son in all his sweet childlike innocence told his mother what happened because he was present when it happened. My ex literally showed up that night in the rain yelling about how could I propose to her, my fiancé, in front of our tree and that this isn't the end of us. I am completely exhausted at this point, I cannot go no contact because she is the mother of my child but she is basically harassing me and my fiancé. How do I convince her to move on, to get over her fear of men and not force me to get a restraining order? Sorry it was long but I am really desperate. Edit, wanted to ask a question to the insightful women here, something that still bugs me to this day is the fact that she even made time for her ex who took pleasure in destroying her only for her to suffer a much worse fate. Is it normal for the abused to want the attention of the abuser even if she might hate him? Something my ex said once. Edit 2, forget to add this in the original post. When my fiancé presented me with the ring which she was gonna use to propose to me she had an engraving on the inner band which states to my pharaoh. Damn I love this woman. Now for the top comments. When planning the wedding, keep all details from your son. Set the wedding date for a weekend that he is with you and make it a surprise for him. I like this idea. It worked for a friend of mine in a similar situation. By the time the ex found out they were married, it was too late to ruin it. Yes, and I can imagine the ex-evil wife now trying to use their son as a way of finding out info. Poor child. Grey Rock Strategy. Don't communicate about anything other than son. Don't get sucked into other discussion. It's not your place to convince her of anything. This. I've co-parented somewhat successfully with my ex, wayward spouse, for seven years now. The last time we actually spoke more than a few words in person was in mandatory mediation for divorce proceedings and we argued so badly the counselor cut the session short and sent us our separate ways. We communicate only when necessary and only directly pertaining to our son. It's effective, but of course requires participation of both parties. Don't try to convince her of anything, don't even have a real conversation with her. Limit your communication to only the absolutely essential information pertaining to your son, as in I'm here to pick him up and only medical slash educational relevant topics when necessary. It's important to keep the peace for the sake of your son. I don't know if this matters at all but for what it's worth I have some experience in this arena, I'm 32f engaged to a wonderful man after a 9 year marriage that ended in divorce. 
My ex was a basket case who tried to play on my emotions and he only backed off when I established clear boundaries. It was hard to do at first because I was afraid of hurting him but ultimately the defined relationship helped him move on. Thank you for sharing. I used to wonder what was so fascinating about being with a man who enjoyed putting bruises on her body and fracturing her bones as compared to me giving her coffee in bed with a kiss on the forehead. If ever there was a way to completely emasculate a man and ruin his confidence this was clearly it and she went above and beyond for it. Though she still apologizes to this day it still doesn't change what she did. Now for the next story. Talked with the wife of the person my wife cheated on me with. So today I told my, 35 male, wife, 33 female, of 14 years that I informed the wife of the guy that she was in a relationship with about what's going on. Back when I was deployed for the army in 2010 my wife met somebody online and then met him in person. They had, according to her, an emotional and not very physical relationship. Our daughter was one year old at the time so I worked on the relationship and we moved past her infidelity at the time. She swears there is no intercourse but just touching and kissing and things like that when they actually met. Fast forward another 10 years and at the beginning of August I found that they had reconnected online and were planning on meeting up while I was away on a trip. So since that time we've been separated but as we now have three kids we are trying to make things work. My wife has mental illness issues and previous trauma from when she was abused physically as a child. So, I'm fairly understanding that her actions are symptoms of what she's been through but understand that she is still making the choices that she makes. On Sunday she asked that I help her not contact this individual anymore. I've been supportive and helpful so that she can get to a good mental state so that both of us can then decide whether or not we want to continue our relationship or get a divorce. I was reading some of the posts on this sub and saw a lot of comments on letting the other party know what's taking place. So. I searched online and found the wife of the guy that she's been cheating on me with. Yesterday I called her on the phone and let her know what her husband has been doing behind her back. Let's call her Kay. I sent Kay screenshots of their emails and text conversations. Kay was obviously shocked to find out that this was going on and again that this happened back in 2010. So today I told my wife about the conversation I had with Kay. My wife freaked out. I know that because of her mental state she's not stable and she has told me that she's not sure who she wants at this point. I know a lot of it was shock and embarrassment for my wife that now Kay knows. But I just wanted to make sure that I'm not crazy and having contacted Kay as well as now considering the divorce without my wife being in a solid mental state because her reaction showed exactly what I feared, she cares more about their relationship than ours. Now let's read the top advice of this post. You did the right thing and also received an answer to a question you might have been scared to ask. She wants to be with the other man. Begin the divorce. If she is unbalanced, document everything for the coming custody battle. Good on you for letting the other wife know. Thanks. Super hard conversation to have with this poor lady. I have mental health issues stemming from abuse. It's not an excuse for being crappy, my man. For showing where her priorities are proves you should move on. My mom was a big reason for my issues and them stayed married with her issues nearly killed me. It's better for the kids long term for you to be in better place. My dad was a ranger, so it kills me reading about guys serving having to deal with this crap. I agree with the other posters and just want to add one thing. 10 years ago, your wife was sleeping with the guy. I've seen this countless time on this sub, and experienced it personally. Adults don't hang out and kiss, they f. My ex gaslighted me with the same lie. People on this sub told me the same thing I'm telling you, and huzzah, everyone here was correct. Now for the last story. She's still talking to him. I've been angry since I walked in on them. My, soon to be ex, wife and her best friend's husband. I filed for divorce and kicked her out. I told her best friend what I knew. We have no kids but her best friend has won and opted for reconciliation. That made me angrier. He doesn't deserve that but I did my best to let it go. My wife texted and called non-stop afterwards until I blocked her. I needed to think. 
She's staying with the excuse of it being her bipolar spinning her into these things. Then how long was the affair? I couldn't let it go and I unblocked her. I agreed to drop off some of her things and talk. I get there and she's sorry. She tries to sleep with me but I wasn't going to play into that. She's telling me she lost her life and is sorry. She has no one now. I start to feel bad for her. I ask her how long did it go on for? Six months. Six months? How can she say it was her impulsiveness from her bipolar when it's been going for six months? I try to stay calm. Her phone was on the coffee table and I see messages coming in. From him. This hurts and I'm thinking I shouldn't have seen her. I left right then and there. I blocked her again. I feel like an idiot. Now for the top comments. You're not an idiot. But make sure his wife knows that he's still texting your soon to be ex-wife. If other man's wife thinks they're trying to reconcile, that crap's gotta stop. This is good advice and the right thing to do. As much as I want to wash my hands of the whole thing, I sent the AP's wife a text. She didn't respond but I did my part. That's all you can do, you gave her the heads up. What she chooses to do with it is her own path to take. Stay strong. She's sorry because she got caught and lost both you and her BFF. I'd tell his wife they're still talking. Cut your losses and let go, you're better off by yourself. She is lost because she needs someone pay for her expenses and bills. She knows exactly where to go for physical and emotional needs so she is fine there. That wasn't so clear to me.